we are going to be looking at Cold Light next, which is by The Age Rain. Actually, I know I've seen this name before, but I forget if this is the only thing that they've posted. No, they have posted a couple other maps in 2022. Um, I should have looked at what, what other stuff they had. They've got uh, a map called Fortress and a map called Compact. But it looks like Cold Light is uh, easily their strongest outing yet. So, uh, let's see what we've got here. Um, it does have a, a short readme. Um, it gives additional credits to Creator for prototype.zip. Could not build without it. That's that's everybody's favorite blockout wad, I suppose. Um, so, I list this as 2023, but... Technically, the first release was on New Year's Eve, um, but the updates came out in 2023. 1.1 was minor bug fixes across all maps, and 1.2 fixed a uh, lit file error on one of the maps. Um, this requires Protocol 999. It is a single-player four-map episode. There's no start map, as you can see, because we've got the stock start map behind me. Um, it does have difficulty settings, it does not have any kind of multiplayer, co-op, whatever. Um, and then on the post on Slip Seer, he says a bit more. Uh, there, there's, there's lore specifically in, on the Slip Seer post, not in the readme. Uh, it says, On the trail of a powerful necromancer who plans to use the ever-hungry nothingness that occupies the void to consume our realm, you must fight your way through the void to find and destroy the necromancer's stronghold, the Forbidden Library, Librum Malefactorium. Good luck, Ranger. And then it also mentions Protocol 999 there. Um, hmm. Greenwood mentions a soft lock. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, or, and, and save beforehand, hopefully. But, yeah, that's about it for any whatever documentation we've got available. Let's uh, go ahead and jump into this and see what we've got. And it, it does, in one of the other plays, it did say that there is about an hour of gameplay in this as well. So, I guess that would leave time for other stuff after this, which I wasn't planning on. Maybe we can look at, uh, the Adrian's other maps. Um, I kind of want to save what's next on my list after this for tomorrow night. And try to do them all together. Because we've got Marky's maps, uh, coming up next. But let me reset the timer, get that going again. And go ahead and start with the first map. Alkaline 1.2 is on the list. You, uh, you probably missed the beginning of the stream. All right, we've got secret ammo right at the beginning. Always pays to look behind you. Um, I added Alkaline 1.2 new maps to the list. Um, and also, I specifically added a couple of the maps, uh, the originals that have been remixed for Alkaline because I never played them. Uh, including, I, I put a couple of BMFBRs maps on the list. And uh, what was the other one? I can't remember the name of it. Dead something. Whichever one that was. The one that has the undead version or whatever in Alkaline. Alright, so... He's very excited to see me. I was wondering if he was going to shoot. I really don't like a starting out with me having to fight a death knight with a regular shotgun. I'm also inclined to go the direction that does not have the death knight. Yeah, okay. There's your nail gun. It's probably what you were supposed to do first, is get that. There's another secret. Also, uh, let's find out if the void kills you. Uh, nope, it hurts you and warps you back. And I did not want to... I, I almost saved instead of reloading. Don't really need that stuff right now. Okay, presumably no more cluster grenades. That'll be nice. Couldn't... Wait, what? What do you mean you couldn't recognize the map without Creator's textures? 
Or do you mean like you, oh, you mean like you played it when it was just a block out and then you played it again? Or or just looking at it now it like looks completely different with the the textures upon? See, if I were using the nail gun, I'd be out of nails right now. If I used that for all these enemies. So this definitely feels vanilla adjacent. I don't know that these textures are vanilla. I feel like... I feel like this stone texture is not vanilla, but... The way it's used and lit and architected feels vanilla. Well, the switch is certainly vanilla. And very clearly having the window there so you can see what it does. Lots of little trapdoors with enemies. Uh, well, that's probably not a good place to end up. So don't do that. I mean, I would probably just take some damage and respawn at the beginning of that again or something. But I would prefer not to do that. Okay, but what about over here? Okay, that very quickly and quietly closed. Almost feels like there could be some... Okay, a second nail gun. Uh, some doom or heretic influence on this too. So that just circles around here. What is this lift? Excited. Oh, wow, that comes back out here. Hey, look who it is. Okay, so that comes out all the way back over there. There's still one area I did not go into up here, though. Like, I poked in and then I just dipped back out again. Uh, where was that? This side. I didn't go all the way through here. Just got a knight pondering through the window. Imagine if I didn't go through here, he'd probably end up sniping at me as I'm going to the exit. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm glad I investigated. I wonder 
if there's any way to get out on top of there. Totally overlooked the nails inside of the cubby hole that the knight came out of. Okay, uh, so I guess going down here is the fast way to get back to where I was before. I was wondering if he was going to try it. He patiently, he politely waited for the uh, death knight to be done. Ah, okay. Uh, this seems like a trap. Oh, well, okay, it was a scrag trap then. Does this stay out? It does. Ah, uh, solid, well, mostly solid lifts. Which means no lift secrets. Also a solid lift. the right time to be over here. Interesting, uh, like, delayed entrances of enemies. Are we doing a multiple switch thing and it's not telling me? No. Maybe? Those might have actually opened them. Oh, that brings that back down. No, I was, I was wondering. This texture very much reminds me of Heretic. It may not... It may not directly be a heretic texture. If it is, it's a recolor, but it reminds me there's a yellow texture in like the second in E1M2 of Heretic that that reminds me of. It has the same kind of like, you know, um, devil thing going on. The stream went down briefly. Oh. Uh it is back though, right? Oh yeah, I can see it on the uh, Glamesh end of things. Is it actually back? It looks back on Twitch. Uh, it looks like it's at least getting there on YouTube, but Glamesh seems like it might be donezo. So, hmm. Sorry for the hiccups. So, I think that window over there is where the, uh, the dude was... One of those two windows, or maybe, actually, maybe it was the one over there. Was where that knight was pondering his existence. So, presumably this is the exit. We have killed everything. Uh... Got half the secrets. Presumably the easy ones. I can kind of fit behind there, but it kind of doesn't, like... There's kind of invisible walls going on here in some places, but not all places. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this one doesn't warp you. Or at least it doesn't warp you the... Oh, shit. I didn't save after all that. Well, <laughs> this, is, this is why you need to save often in this. There are some things that the mapper did not safeguard against. Such as me doing incredibly bad ideas. Huh. 
the the lack of one more to go on that switch is kind of and feels like an oversight too. It's very standard quake practice to to tell you when there are more switches in the same as part of the same equation. Okay. Is that that does warp you. So yeah, it's just if you fall behind the exit that the the A-Drain did not think of people being that creative. It's like, why wouldn't you try to check behind a portal and do stupid things? Alright, so that's the first map. Uh, I was, I was immediately wondering whether we would be in a different aesthetic, but it seems we are at least starting with the same aesthetic. Uh... Holy crap, did that just, like, send this thing over here? That's interesting. Because uh, immediately I was like, where, where am I supposed to go? a bit of, uh, platforming being done in this. Oh, hello. I didn't actually go up that lift yet. Like, oh, shit. Alright, well, at least that'll... Wait, did I hear something open? Guess not. Where is the ogre? Oh. I don't really need this yet. There's another one over there. stuck with the nail gun on that guy. That looks suspicious. I also don't know which way I want to be going here. Because there were a couple of options for me before. Wait, are they going over to that guy? Now they are. <laughs> well, we found the I fallen and I can't get up cave, apparently. Oh, I should have let him get that one too. Whoops, there's more of them. Oh my god, you think there's enough dudes in here? I feel like I should have gone a different way first, maybe gotten an explosive weapon? Hmm. What all is going on in here? Oh, this actually connects... Okay, this connects to the other side of where I was before. What is up here? Well, before I do that, is there actually anything else? There is something else down here, right? Got a, a little intricate network of caves going on here.
Ah, this is where that armor was. Okay. Uh, there's something down there. Let's go ahead and take this stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's something down there. It's called the place you were before. Alright, never mind. I don't think I can jump all the way over to where that ogre was from there, and I don't think there's a reason to anyway. Okay, so over here. Zombies? I, I need a weapon for zombies. I do not have a weapon for zombies. What is going on over there? Actually. Like, oh, okay, that's... That's... An interesting... Perspective. Like, I didn't... I was thinking that was going out, not up. Uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, that, that did very funny things to my expectations there. Wait, how did I never kill that guy? Have I not been up here? I'm, I'm confused. I thought I had been up here. And can I get over there? I don't think so. Alright, let's reload and see what else we can do over here. There's our zombie weapon. Also our fiend weapon. Oh, hi. Um, okay, yeah, this is water. This is not acid or nacho cheese sauce, or whatever. Uh, can I get up there? Looks like I might be able to get up there. But then what? I don't know that that necessarily does anything for me. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm over here now, which is probably not useful. And now I'm back there again. <laughs> How many times will we land at the same beginning part of the map? You know what this map could use? Shortcuts. If you're gonna end up overlooking an older part of the map vertically, put in a shortcut elevator. Wait, is there anything down there? I don't think there's anything down there, other than places I was before. What the heck? Yeah, that's the very beginning, isn't it? A new... <laughs> a new fork of dark places? <clears throat> what for? This might be... the lift that has a soft lock. No, we're too early in the map for that, probably. Okay. Greenwood was saying that there's, like, a, a potential self lock in the lift at the end of the map or something. So, I feel like there was still another direction I could have gone earlier that I didn't, unless that was really just the other cave that I came out of. Hey, Ricky, thanks for the raid. Were you doing mapping things, or were you playing things? Uh, I am... F having finally finished Dwell last weekend, I've moved on, I played, uh, I played Shades Master's Sacrilege demo earlier, and now we're playing Cold Light. It base map, nice. There was a, uh, there was a base map in, uh, in the Sacrilege demo. But, uh, the base map in the Sacrilege demo was, was, looked cool enough, but it was kind of rude. 
the uh, the medieval map was really what shined the most, I think, in that demo. Which, unsurprising, given that it's Shades Master. He's, he is good at medieval maps. And yeah, Alkaline 1.2. Uh, I talked about that at the beginning of the stream. I have that on my list of to-dos, and I also put on... Um, Dead Memories. That was the map that I was thinking of before. I was just like, it's Dead Something. Um, <laughs> how ironic that I forgot the name of the map, Dead Memories. Um, I never played Dead Memories, and uh, I think there's a BMFBR map that's remixed in 1.2 that I haven't played, so I added uh, BMFBR's single-player solo releases to my to-do list to play the originals before we play the alkaline versions. Aha, uh -huh, you live here now. Oh, okay, that probably unbarred that. That's probably why this window was here. I just wasn't looking at it <laughs> at the time that it happened. I wonder... Oh, that's a very big lift. I wonder if this is the lift. You can't even see the side texture, so yeah. there's There probably wasn't thought to checking under that for lift secrets, but uh, this, uh, this pack has had a pretty, uh, a pretty consistent pattern of lifts that are solid anyway. Oh, that one goes back down, too, so that's not it either. Alright, so this is the second time we've seen one of these. Uh, there was one right at the beginning of the level that basically kind of forced you to, like, look around and, and see the things you could blow up, and that did things. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was confused about that one. Because, like, I did play a bunch of J-Pal maps. But, and I, I wanted to think the name of that one sounded familiar, but... I don't think JPQM10 is listed on, on Quidicted or anything. And, uh... So, like... I guess I haven't played that one before? Because if I have, where the hell did I play it? So is that actually, like... Is, is that a never-before-seen j Paul map? Or is that actually something that has been seen before? Oh, that one was much more lackadaisical. The first one was like, near somebody get the license number on the back of that vehicle. It's on a forgotten Google Docs folder. Oh. I'll have to check my Quake folder as to whether I... My Quake Spasm folder as to whether I played it or not. Because there is a chance that I did get it that way. I've gotten one or two maps that way. So that, that might explain why I thought the name sounded familiar, so maybe I have played it. It's, it, it, will ha it will have been a while, but... Bad angle. Okay, where are we going? I guess we're going down, huh? Where's the night that I just heard? Before we go down, though... Can I... doesn't seem like there's anything I can land on if I tried slope and slope jumping on that. Good whiff. Oh, there you are. So, uh, those are steps. When, especially in this lighting, when you're looking up, like, especially if I'm at an angle like this, it's actually really hard to tell their steps. Okay, so there's an elevator there, there's steps there. And also... Oh, you can't really go up that, that incline, it's a little bit steep, okay. Okay, we are not taking the steps right now. What? Something just... Hi. 
Why did you warp in when I checked out the door? Jeez. The door was closed. I'm already going away. You didn't have to send a fiend after me. Alright, hang on. We have to we have to check. It's probably solid. It is solid. I forgot to pick up the ammo this time. How did you not... <laughs> you should have died uh, just with the grenades alone. Oh, there's there's more knights out there. Have I been out there? There's a bunch of dead dudes, so I would think so. Can we do anything interesting here? This is probably also filed under things we're not expected to do. But I'm gonna try something. Uh, that that is an invisible wall. Okay, I was wondering about getting over there, maybe. Where the heck is that guy going? I don't know if I'll ever actually end up back down there, where it'll be worth killing that guy. <laughs> yeah, there. I mean, there are some places where you can kind of get to the end of the map. Uh, okay. We have three switches. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I assume that did something. They're giving me a red armor? Oh, that's why they're giving me a red armor. You know what would have made more sense? A super nail gun. Uh, I have not found a single secret in this map. So, what, what did I accomplish by coming in here? Did I, did I open another? Hmm, that seems like something that should open. Cause like there's, there's, there's no switch in here. Was all of that just an excursion for red armor and that's it? I'm also... I also apparently live in here right now? Do I actually have a problem? Or have I just not found something? Because, uh... If I live in here, that might be a problem. Is there a switch anywhere else? I mean, this this seems like it should be open. Or do I need to do this again? Wait. Do each of these control something? So I thought I had to close them before, but maybe maybe the goal was actually open all, like, make all of them light up. So, hang on. That actually does do all three of them, okay. Like, that sounds like it's opening more than one thing, and I would assume each of them represents something. Well, anyway, this is open now. Okay. Uh, oh, and that was that door. Okay. And that's that one guy from before that I was talking about. Okay. This was not open before, right? So that is probably what purpose that served. Before we do that, is there anything else here that I did not do? didn't pick those up. Huh, huh. 
Have I been over? Yeah, this is where I... There's practically no reason to do that anymore, I guess, now that this is also open. But So I guess that is effectively a shortcut, probably. There, can't see him. Okay, can we go on this and find anything? Oh, just okay, another grenade launcher in the water, sure. Maybe maybe an entitled goose left it there. if there was something under it, but no. <laughs> I scraped right into that. That's... that is where I came from over there, right? Didn't actually mean to do that. Uh... I think this is where I came from? Seems like that direction. I didn't remember having to jump. Unless maybe I didn't when I was coming down. <clears throat> okay, wait. Was there something, like, halfway up here? Yeah, okay. So this is where we're going. So we need the key there, we have the key there, what else is over here? Suddenly a change of aesthetic, okay. Uh... I guess we have to go down to do something about the key. Sudden, suddenly, uh... E1M... is it 4 or 5 that has the underwater zombie maze? Well, not underwater, but in water. Oh, I didn't expect to get him with that first one. Huh. I didn't get him? Keep getting cheated on my grenades. Mm. Alright, there's gotta be more to this. Yeah, there is. Yeah, he's in an extremely inconvenient place. is not dead. Even M3? Really? Oh, yep. Is that the, the one I thought wasn't dead? Yeah, that was the one I thought wasn't dead. Hell, that's a little bit easy to miss. That's a fun idea. You could hear the switch though. <laughs> like this the 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 switch noise there kind of made kind of eliminated the magic from that situation. Cuz like clear oh hi. Clearly the idea that I hurt myself. Clearly the idea where there was like you were just exploding that and removing its support. Although it would have made more sense if 
there was just like an opening in it rather than it actually being because it was kind of disconnected there right but still fun idea how the hell do I get out of here? Here we go. Also, there's actually a bit of a ramp there. Okay. At first it was so dark, I was like, is this the end of the level? It shouldn't be. This feels very heretic-like again. Oh wow, what's going on here? Ooh. Suddenly, all the things. Ow. Why do these guys seem to consistently be surviving two grenades? Oh dear. Uh, alright, sure, get mad at that thing. Uh-oh. What? Well, okay. Sure. Thanks for running into all of the four balls. Oh, hi. There's more of you. save in, in a separate slot here because this might be a point of no return. I think I hurt myself again. Oh, hello. haven't quite killed everything yet. Unless the others are in a secret. I didn't... Jeez, I was I was two for four on secrets in the first level, I think. But, uh... Ended up being... Wait, what? I didn't even actually get to the portal, and it ended the level. Like, hold your horses, level I'm not done yet. I was gonna check if there was anything in back of the portal. Mm. Level was like, how dare you? That's rude. I don't check behind portals without asking first. Why is that one up in the air? Oh, because when that... It probably... This probably changed when the Shambler came out or something. Actually, I don't know. There's also one down over here. Like, that would be a crushing hazard if those actually do change at that point. Oh, you can go back. I wonder... I wonder where Greenwood got softlocked in this, then. Because he made it sound like that last lift was it, but I don't I don't get how that would even... Like, it's not even an up lift, so... That can't be what he was talking about. Hey, Mike. Uh... Oh, I did. I actually did end up with more nails because I had I had never really checked the back of the room. I should probably pick this up. And I think there was another yellow armor that I didn't even pick, did not even pick up before. But yeah, it's it's interesting. This is actually a really uh, a pretty fun juxtaposition coming from Dwell into playing something like this, which feels rather vanilla-inspired in terms of its architecture and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's, prob it's probably got its rough edges, but, uh... There were some, there were some neat ideas in that map. 
All right, what do we got now? Shadow Brook. So we've got two maps left, right? I think there were four total. You know, ordinarily these things are switches, so to have a switch that lowers a switch is weird. And I'm guessing the other two are in there. And we've got to go hunting for how to open those doors. All right, this is, hmm, interesting environment and interesting, like, chain of events they're setting up, I guess. Uh, I have to wonder exactly how scratch start viable this would be with this, with all this stuff coming at you. They do give you the super shotgun early. Oh, it looks like there's either a nail gun or a grenade launcher up there. Oh, and we've got our first good boys of the entire pack. Okay, yeah, it was a grenade launcher. I didn't get a clear look at it before when I was running around. And yeah, I'm liking this environment. It's like... Actually, what's funny is, is as we come over here... Uh, the texture over here makes me think of downtown or something. From Doom 2. But it's like... Somewhat medieval. But it's a little different than most medieval... Environments that I've seen in terms of its uh, texture set. So that's neat. Familiar idea, but maybe a little differently executed. This seems like it's going to be pretty big. Oops, now. You know, it's like they always say, let sleeping dogs levitate. Why, why the extremely dramatic... Oh, there's something back there. Uh-huh. That's why the extremely dramatic slow post opening, so that you have time to find the secret, which is going to help now. About this side. Yeah, okay, that, that quad served its purpose rather well. Uh, that would have been a little nasty without it, given the frickin' Shambler and, what, four fiends? Oh, a rocket launcher. Cool. Oh, look, more fiends. Well... Interesting. Yeah, you got like the blood on the doors and everything. Uh, is it, wait, is that where I came from or not? Or did I come from this way? Uh, I did not come from that way because there's armor over there. I'll save that for now. No, I came from down there. But does this actually lead me back out? Oops. I didn't... I ended up against this and didn't realize that I was going to just walk right back into it. Pain in the arch guy right there. Those kind of doors don't usually open when you proposition them. So that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, cool. I got absolutely nothing with that.
I've been here. Yep. So I'm not sure if there was a point to all that. At least that last bit. Okay, well, it's easy enough to get the armor if I want it. Uh, can I actually submerge in this? I don't think I can even get in there. Why are the doors not making noise? Uh... Okay. Dude, just power walking for a minute. Present with the size of this map, there's actually fewer secrets for me to fail to find. <clears throat> Alright, I expect worse enemies. Oh, hi. Okay. Those other ones are going to end up opening at some point. Uh, did that open that, or was that already open? Well, uh, let's see if these are open. I should have just dropped down. Uh, yeah, one of these open. Okay. That switch could stand to be better lit. I got that guy at the same time. This isn't copper. How the hell did I do that? That seems like I would have had to have, had to have shot through him, but that's not what happened, clearly. Now we're doing all the sneaky ambushes. Hmm. What? Okay. That connects back to that, apparently. That's where I came from. And that connects around to that. What did that accomplish? Oh, wait, it accomplished that. I didn't even notice. These bars are gone. And then you get out on the roof. That's pretty fun. You would think that there would be a secret here. But it seems like there's no secret up here. Alright, we have a key. Uh, have I seen where this key is needed? Right there. Okay. Why are so many of the doors silent? It's really weird. Are the dogs upstairs? No, nope, there's one. Multiple ogres, okay. Oh, they're all dead. Hmm, that might be a secret. Even 
get an enemy down here? Jeez, it's like, hmm, am I gonna get a prize down here? Nope. Your, your prize is a dude in a metal suit who runs with scissors. That's rude. That's kind of problematic, because when it shortens their jump height like that, uh, it means they re-jump quicker. Someone's sneezing. The way they were all snoozing makes me think I wasn't expected to come in this way. That guy wasn't snoozing, though. Oh man, I'm almost out of shells. Not a secret. Totally missed that. <clears throat> I did not go in this one, right? So that one didn't seem to have much in it, but this has a whole bunch of hallways and stuff. Uh, I never went up here. Gives you access to his stuff, okay. But yeah, it seems like this is the way in here. There's some shells. Okay, yeah, that's not meant to be opened. Not directly, anyway. I feel like none of these ogres have been making wake-up noises either, which I'm pretty sure that is actually a thing. Like, there's one type of ogre in the original game that does that. That door made a sound. Hello. I, I just had a sinking feeling. Close now? That might have always been closed. I'm, I'm thinking of something else. Oh, I didn't really need those, did I? Right, so that was where I had the sinking feeling. Uh, can I get back up there? How did I get up there before? Wasn't there... was there a lift somewhere? I hope I'm not actually locked out of doing stuff in there anymore. Like, that, that one door that's closed has me a little worried. I need to get up there, because there's another switch. I'm missing. Where did I save? I probably saved before I did that room. Okay, but I saved after I did that stuff. This is where I want to go. I 
guess we'll do it again. Yeah, so that's open now. Oh, but that unbarred... That... Okay, that raised one bar. Then there's got to be a separate way to get in the other side, I guess. I was... I was... I was thinking that it actually locked me out, but I guess the point is you are supposed to exit... ...and find another way in. Hello. I thought that I had already, like, been... Okay, this is a completely different area. I was thinking this was leading me out to where I had been before, which it is, but I don't know that... Was this open before? It may not have been. At the very least, there's certainly new enemies here. Yeah, this is all, all stuff I haven't been through yet. Lots of doors don't have sounds. Really weird. You know what? I'll take that. It's not open from this side. Huh. That's the first door we've had of that nature in this uh, pack. What's with this wall? That's rather suspicious looking. something above it, too. <laughs> you know, it only makes the uh, silent doors weirder when they also have silent overs. I did pick up a rocket launcher. I forgot about that. I have not been investigating pools for submergible areas. Across here? Yes, so. Okay, so that opened this. Oh, geez, didn't realize he was up here already. Fortunately, this hallway is wide enough for the two of us. Uh, Alright, let's see what's... Can I go through here? Is this the one-way door from the other side? I think it might be. Okay, so that's kind of a shortcut. up there. This... Nothing special. Just goes to the same place. I still don't have a super nail gun. I figured there had to be a secret with a super nail gun by now. Okay, well, 
there's our silver key. Interestingly, this is one of those rare maps where the silver key is after the gold key. Also, what is this? Okay. Was, was that there the whole time, or was that not open before? Like, you didn't even have to... That had to have been closed before or something, I figure. You didn't even have to, like, jump out, jump down there from the top. You could just jump into it directly. But maybe, yeah, maybe you don't think to suspect it without seeing it from the top first. I don't know. Wow. It took us that long to get over there. Which uh, begs the question, how do we get to the other side? I'm still worried that I was supposed to do something in the gold key area that got sealed off. Uh, well, we have killed, like, five-sixths of the enemies in this level now. So there shouldn't be that much left. I just need to find out how the heck to get to the other side, which, uh... Good luck with that. Uh, is this where the beginning was? Yeah, so that's the side I need to be worried about. been down here. I've been in there. Did I come in here? Yep. And now I'm back in here again. Which is where we got the gold key. Pretty sure. Wait. This is where we got the gold key, isn't it? Yeah, it was up. Wasn't it here, right here? And then we got on the roof. Is there stuff up there? I guess it's probably just for show. Uh. That's where the gold key door is. That. Probably can't be... This looks like a door, too. That is a door. A secret nail gun. Right at the beginning of the map. Gee, that feels like something I've seen, um... Ish do. But yeah, so... How would we go about getting over there? It's probably not in the gold key area. Because that's all the way the heck over there. Huh. Unless something does a lot of wrapping around. But hang on. This is the silver key area, and this leads over here. So yeah, that's unlikely to be our answer. Wait, is there anything... What is over here? That was where the secret with the nail gun was, right? Yeah, okay. So, you would think... Doesn't look like there's anything to fall into over there. Uh... You would think the other one would be somewhere over here, but where haven't I gone?
<clears throat> yeah, these were just enemy closets. Can I get up there? Probably not meant to. This was the thing that went around to here. This was where the quad was, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's all that section. <laughs> Kind of at a loss for this one. Although, actually, hang on a second. Wait. What was the second secret? I thought I had one out of three. Doors are still closed too. <clears throat> that that's the that was the most surprising thing in this area is like I expected all those to open. So it really can't, it really doesn't seem likely that it would be in here. Especially since that part is sealed off now, which I, I, I still find that odd. What if it is through here though? This is, th like, th there's gotta be a way to get up there. And I don't know what it is, and they sealed off that side. When I hit that button. So we have unfinished business in here, I just don't know how to finish it. And there's also the matter of that, however the heck that works. into that stuff before we do that. This was a dead end, right? Right. This was how I had gotten into that section originally. Mm. Through here. But we need to get over... What? Was this door locked before? How did I never go through here? I have to figure it must have been locked before. So you have to go down there once, and you have to go through here to get to the other side. How did I not find that before? Okay. Seems really strange for me to miss that, but yeah, sure enough. That was actually the simple part. Shit, they're behind me. That's rude. Like, you're looking at the door expecting it to open. I'm pretty sure he knew exactly what he was doing. Uh, I think the fiend might be mad at the door. not dead. Okay. Oh, the door did open just after all that nonsense. It's pretty funny that you can see the door up there on this side. Not sure if intentional or not. Might be. What? There's another one. 
Okay. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know this was a bath down here. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, that's a bath now. Another shambler. And we still don't have a super nail gun. Like, did I blatantly miss a super nail gun? It seems really weird that they blatantly gave me a rocket launcher but have not given me a super nail gun. Ghibli bits everywhere. Switch up there. Oh, that is a shoot switch. Okay. Does that go back up? Uh, no, but I might be able to. Can I jump to the top of it? Yep, okay. Are we the seagulls from uh, Finding Nemo? Mine, mine, mine. They just all bunch up at the door. Okay, something in there was suspicious. Why is that texture at that angle? That is. That's the kind of thing I would expect to be a secret, but it's not. Okay, so this is the compliment to the other side that we went down the ramps. And there we are. We did the thing. We missed one enemy. Or... Nope. There's, there's no shambler in front of it. Is there no frame on this thing? There's no frame on this thing. It's actually like standing out. It's like protruding. Which kind of works in a really interesting aesthetic way, but it also feels like very odd for a portal. Normally portals are inset, not outset. It's like somebody managed to, to come up with a CSS crime for a portal. But it looks kind of cool anyway. Okay, so I think we're going to the final map. Ah, uh, wow. Alright. And there is over 200 enemies. We're going to take a break before we do this one. Um... I've already been going at this for more than an hour, so, um... <laughs> he said an a about an hour of gameplay. <laughs> with, with maps that big, um... <laughs> that are only part of the episode? Uh... I don't know how you go through that in an hour. Unless you're absolutely rushing through the entire thing. Um... But no, that third map was definitely pretty interesting. I feel a little bad for getting lost, but I also feel like... Did I seriously just never look through that door? <laughs> or was it actually locked at some point? I don't know. Um, but I feel like if it if it had been locked, it would have just opened. It wouldn't have been still closed like that. So I have to think I may have just never gone through it. And I should have gone through that door first. That's really odd to me that I didn't do that. There had to be a reason. I don't know. I'll have to go and look at the VOD myself to figure out why the heck I didn't do that earlier. Um... But yeah, let me take a break, and we will uh, wrap this up when we get back. And that will probably easily take the rest of the night. So uh, this this doing sacrilege and cold light in one night seems like it was actually a pretty good balance. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes and see uh, how much there is to this last map with over 200 enemies. All right. We're back. Let's uh, see what this la last map is like. It occurs to me just looking at the entrance, at least the floor, just kind of like makes me think of some old Tron and stuff, actually. Like, didn't Coven of, Coven of, uh, bleh. Coven of Ebony, <laughs> I can say that. Uh, didn't that have some, uh, a lot of blue textures in it and stuff? 
Alright, let's get the timer rolling again. Again, only three secrets. Actually, how many how many secrets did I find in the previous map? Did I, I ended up with two out of three, which, you know, at least Meatloaf would be okay with that. That is, in fact, a secret. work out the way I wanted it to. That is a lot of doors. <clears throat> and that is a lot of something. That looks uh, pretty meaningful over there. Alright, so is this the Monty Hall problem? Is there going to be a goat behind one of these? Please tell me we're not going to have Kthon. Alright, so clearly that stuff is meant to rise up. Guess we're going in here first. I didn't really need both of those. Of course, I always make the, the meatloaf joke when I get two out of three. Two layers of ogres. there is going to be a lot going on in this level. I ran right into that. That was not smart. Okay, well, we're not getting in there. Okay, so now we're on the side. That's where we've ended up. The way that, like, some of this interlocks with itself makes me feel like you could build, like, several deathmatch levels out of this. <laughs> Given the size, like, this would be way too big to be any deathmatch level. What is going on here? Are any of these fake? I thought maybe that one would be because it looked like it was lit less. Whoa, I just accidentally did a really high jump there. Alright, well, let's see where this takes us. What? Wait, but that said only one more. What? I think there's a bug. I saved, and then we got sequence completed, exit rune one, only three more to go, only two more to go, only one more to go. But we've only done one of them. It happens to be the one closest to the exit, but we've only done one of them. I hope that doesn't cause worse bugs. I hope that doesn't, like, cause me to not be able to do the rest of the level. 
Did that open all of these at once? Okay, that is not how the money haul problem works. But as far as I know, like, that was the only one I had access to first. Like, we had to go through here. There was nothing else I could have done before. Wait. Okay, yeah, let's check out the library, I guess. I really don't want to pick up those nails right now. I still don't have a freaking super nail gun either. Okay, so why does this exist? Oh, there's more stuff over here. Okay. those nails instead. I do want to see whether there's a trigger on that. There is. How many of you are there? Holy shit. I thought it was a knight, but no, it was another one of those guys. At least there's more health in here, but uh, boy, I could use some armor. Did I? I left some armor in the other area, actually, so I could go back for that. Mythbusters got- that makes sense that they covered it at some point. I don't know if I saw that one. I've watched a, a fair amount of Mythbusters back when they used to do marathons on science or some on the Science Channel or something for, like, the holiday break in December. Okay, I don't think I'm done in here yet. Because I'm assuming that one of those pieces of the bridge has to rise for each of these areas. I am very surprised there's only three secrets in this map. Oh, more health. Okay, good. Oh, that actually opens. Okay. This is a mysteriously very empty room. That's a cool view, though. Actually, what the heck is going on over there? What the heck is going on over there? That is some very weird shit going on. Holy crap. Jeez, all this had to be freaking... You know, etched or whatever. Etched isn't the right word because it's the opposite of an etching. Uh, Shambler, Shambler got the good angle. I almost went too close to the, uh, the, the, the big scratch there. <laughs> I'm glad Discovery does still show them from time to time, because I feel like... I feel like the Discovery set of channels, I want to say network, but that's kind of an ambiguous term. I feel like they've been kind of just going increasingly downhill. Because isn't the History Channel part of Discovery also? And History Channel is, like, completely useless. Ok, 
Okay, so now we're actually out here. I mean, there was like moving... Yeah, there's moving platforms and stuff there too, so uh, we're going up there. Eventually. And this is still just one part of the map, supposedly? This is very interesting stuff, though. I... Did that too early. He's still not over there. There you are. Yeah, sure. Now that I end up hurting myself. Yeah, how it's made was... A pretty neat show. Uh... <laughs> oh, he actually got through the door that time. Alright, good job. I was waiting to see if he did the same thing again. Uh, well, there's armor. I have no idea how I didn't trip over that grenade. Holy crap. I thought for sure I was gonna eat that. So, did I even need to go in there? Could I have just, like, bypassed that and gone straight here? I feel like this this set of maps absolutely, like, shows an evolution of the mapper, because, like, in one of the first maps, there was that instance where they didn't even bother doing the, you know, one more to go. But now they're doing that. Uh, and obviously the maps have extremely uh, gone up in scale. Um, somebody didn't test that fight. Also, there's someone behind me. I completely backed into that guy, but there were there were three knights and two fiends, and the two fiends could not do anything with those knights there. Okay, yeah, those guys materialized after I hit these switches, and now there is a third switch. That's a mood. This is like, um, one of JCR's maps, I think, this is reminding me of. The one that's just like the, the tower that you start on top of, and there's just floating pla platforms and walls and debris everywhere. Huh. We're doing a little bit of tricky jumping. Uh, oh, this is moving, or some- yep, we're moving, okay. How about I just go over here for now? Alright, what about the ogre? Where is the ogre? Don't land on my head, jeez. Couldn't even see that one with all the other scrags dead already. Okay. So yeah, these are all... I don't know, was this moving... before even and I didn't even notice it? Dude, calm down. This is, I'm not playing on Nightmare difficulty. You're not allowed to launch grenades that much. Uh, so now where the hell am I going? Over... Oh, to that and then to there. Okay. Gotta wait for this to go up again. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Ogre is up there. He's dead. Oh man, I almost jumped too early. That time I actually did jump too early. Okay, that's not too bad. We can redo that. I wonder if I can jump from this all the way. Nope. It was worth a try. Although I almost sailed clearly out into the lava, I think. Alright, let's just do that. 
I'm actually surprised that they don't require more out of the slope jumps. What the? What? There's a gap there. You jerk. Uh, now I'm just falling back down to the very beginning. Okay, let's reload. Uh... He does like his platforming every so often. Is there anything up here? Yep, there's a gap right there. It's, it's hard to see it. And I was trying to, like, maybe not pick up both of the shell boxes, but then I just fell because I didn't realize there was a gap there. So that's, that's a bit rude. And may maybe just not thought through in terms of, like, hmm. It's not necessarily obvious there's a gap here. But, uh, yeah, there sure is a lot of interesting stuff going on here. And also, is there more... There's more stuff up there, but I don't know if we're supposed to get up there. There's... There's a base, uh... That's really interesting, that there's just, like, this tornado of, uh, of textures going on, of, like, we've got the, the medieval kind of castle textures going on there, and then you've got base textures caught up in the mess up there. And, uh, water, it looks like. So, that's pretty interesting. Excuse me, I feel like that vor didn't actually make the wake-up noise. Uh, okay, good. The vor balls did actually go away, because otherwise I would have gotten hit by them. Okay, that reduced these. I don't... I, that feels kind of pointless, because it was right there, but... I mean, you were guarding rockets. What, what did you expect me to do? Got, got to have those synchronized face plants. I'm surprised there wasn't an ogre perch up there. This seems like a pretty major portal. Where are we going? Is there anything else for me to do in here first? Okay, go behind it. Oh, wow, we are in here again. Surprise, base enemies, because we're in the base map portion. I didn't think they were actually going to have us go up here again, but they actually... Oh my god, we're going up the water. And there's fish in it. <laughs> there, was, there was no longer fish. No, there's still more fish. I still hear them. <laughs> um, Possibly the closest thing to shooting fish in a barrel that you will find in Quake. Alright, we're going to actually have to go for it and find out where the heck they are. Also, where am I landing? Okay. So this is not quite Anomaly 2 water. I don't know where the fish are. Oh, what? That didn't work. That's very, te that's very, very temperamental. That should have been tested more. Well, we get to attempt to shoot fish in a barrel again. Got him. Wait a minute. Is there, There's one just hanging out up there. Oh, no, that's a... Wait, is that a fish or is that a scrag? That looks like a fish. It's wagging too much. Yeah, that's another fish. Got him. See, this one is fine because the platforms are far below where you come out of the water. 
But this one, they expect you to go... Oh, wait, can I just go up here? That's what they expect you to do. Okay. I saw this first, and thought that's what they wanted me to go on to, and it probably would have been possible at exactly the right angle, but... Yeah. Like, you don't expect to... Because that one, you, well... Are there walls on that one? Yeah, so that one you're... <clears throat> that one, they train your expectations to come out away from the wall. But then this one, you actually are better off coming out towards the wall, and that seems weird. Uh, well, that seems like an issue. Oh, hi. I can come out here, though. Uh... What am I doing here? Oh, over here. Okay. Uh, that just dunked me out there. That was not useful. Okay. Where are we actually going here? Like, oh, there's the switch. Okay. But then there's really no reason to go back down. Oh, hello. Jeez. Ogre, what are you doing here? This is a base map now. I don't know what that did. <laughs> oh, I think I remember the idiom special. Um... I, I can't go in there, but I also don't make axe noises, so that's weird. Okay, but what else could that switch have done? worth a shot. Is there more stuff above this? Kind of looks like there's more stuff above this. But I have no idea how we're getting to it. That was the last time I saved. It was right here before the switch. Okay, good. Because I have no idea what that switch does. Does not make any noise whatsoever. I'm looking for any sign of anything here. What? Oh, well, I just made the Shambler angry from upstairs. We're just gonna assume that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know what John Travolta was doing up there in the room with nobody in it, but uh yeah, so is is this supposed to, you know, do something? Because it doesn't I can't do anything in here. Unless I can get in there from somewhere else. Maybe that's what it's trying to hint to me. Hang on. Uh... Oh, wait. Was this another one? That is what this was. That feels like that's not supposed to be fully... You know what? Hang on. Uh... What the crap is the name of the, uh... It's this, right? Yeah. So that's one right now. We do that. Huh. Does that, does that make something visible? Yes, it does. I think you weren't in intended to play this with Water Alpha 1. But even then, it's kind of hard to see those bars. Okay, so that's, that's what we're doing. They should make a noise. They should 100% actually make a noise.
So was he like going through this thing repeatedly? Like what was the what was the warping sound about before? All right, so this is another one of the big portals. That did make a noise, but I'm not sure which direction the noise came from. Unless it was just to let me through here again so I can come back up. That might have been what it was. Okay, so now what am I doing? I've already been in here, right? <laughs> All those are still down. Also, this is where that armor was that I was thinking of before. Um... Okay. It did it again. Rune counter one. Two more to go, one more to go. Sequence completed. There are definitely some bugs when it comes to the messaging here. It might have been that the Shambler was constantly going through the portal both ways or something. Maybe. That also leads out... Here? Interesting. And that is also a solid lift, okay. So do all... I guess all of them warp you back, and these light up, I think, is what's going on. Okay. So we are halfway through the map, and... This is the one I went in before, right? So I think this is lit up to represent that I've done it. So that's that's neat that they... I've, I don't know that I've ever seen that done with these textures in particular. Alright, what's next? I am once again asking you for my super nail gun. Can I do anything interesting up here? Nope. Wait. There's nails here. I need those. really sure why the Shambler showed up where he- wait. Because I'm going backwards. That's why he showed up where he did. <clears throat> this is actually where I'm going now. Where's the fiend? Oh my god, there's more than one of them. Shit. I got crossed up there. I did more damage to myself than they did. That was definitely a required weapon pickup for progression there. Okay, cool. I like it when they don't get to shoot. Huh, 
Is this actually... No, where is this? Okay, it's just in here. There's another one? Oh, that one got to shoot. Alright, that works. I'm glad it works, otherwise I would have gotten nailed by it. Okay, this is the way we're going. Alright, we got a switch here, a door across from it. Oddly, no enemies in the room. Jeez, nice trick shot, dude. freaking like slightly off shots that aren't doing full damage. Well, at least it wasn't a fiend this time. This time it was. This feels like something out of, uh... It's just slightly... reminiscent of one of the levels in Doom 2. I don't remember which one. Might be map... 10? Maybe? 9 or 10? Well, what do we have here? Closed doors everywhere, and a big switch on the floor. And I have four armor. That is not where I was expecting the enemies from, so, uh, good job. I thought I could squeeze through. I could not squeeze through. Oh, and then an ogre shows up at the end there. <laughs> oh boy, alright. my rocket ammo a little bit. Seems like I'm getting a little bit low. Shit. I was mistiming all of that, so I wasn't baiting his melee correctly. Uh, alright. Is this the second one? Yep. Uh, is that where we came from? Okay, so all that was in those doors was enemies. This is this is not where we came. Wait, is it though? There's dead dudes in it. Okay, but that's new. That works.
I also have to wonder if there's been any Thunderbolt secrets prior to now that I've missed. Whoa, where am I now? We got another interesting set piece here. There is the gold room, Kate. Okay? It's in there. <laughs> Give me rockets, please. Just giving me a quad. There has to be a reason they are just giving me a quad. Now. Okay, but where am I going? dark in here. Whoa! He wound up practically before he was in line of sight. Jeez. Oh, I was almost in range of that. That would have been scary. Yeah, you're talking about E2M2 then. It's funny, the first thing I thought of was the one of the maps in Doom 2 the way it did, and I was like, he's probably not talking about that. Unless he watched a very specific stream I did, like, three years ago. I would still like more rockets. How many of you are there? Or are they getting mad at themselves? I'm... There seem to be a lot of ogres now. Also, ogres are an interesting choice here because it seems like their grenades sometimes get stuck. Okay. I'm a little worried that there might be potential to get crushed in here, but it seems like generally there are effectively like floor tiles and wall tiles in here. Where have I seen something like this before? Because I've definitely seen something like this before. Uh, cool. I can't do anything to defend against this guy, except maybe that. Uh, well that ended up working out. Cool. I'm not even sure why he didn't shoot at me more than that once. But, I'll take it. This also feels like it's reminding me of something a little bit. Uh, this may or may not be... Ow? The fuck? Am I getting hit by that? I don't even know. Doesn't make any sense. I just jumped through there and got, like, caught by something. What? Alright, well, anyway, we have the Thunderbolt. I don't know why that caught me like that. Unfortunately, I've used all the health already. And I guess I should have gotten that Thunderbolt earlier. Ok, 
Okay, now it's just another rune. All right, well, we have the key. And we have health, at least. Okay. And once again, you have the one more end sequence completed. This is, uh... The, 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 this incident accidentally has a, uh... 12 Days of Christmas bug with its messaging. Because mm. it always does the full countdown. Although I guess it's inverted 12 Days of Christmas. Yeah, so see now this is lit up too. So now this is the last one. This map alone is taking me an hour. I don't know what the hell he meant saying an hour of playtime for the entire episode. Okay, there is actually more than one of you. Uh, I am out of nails now. Okay, good, there's more here. going on here like that that seems like a bad sign hmm. oh I guess we're going in there more books Sure, giving me a lot of ammo. Oh, cool. I'm trapped in here. I did not mean to switch to that weapon, so we're gonna die. Oh, okay. John Travolta just saved my ass. Say, there's a dude in there. What? Oh well, that's that's a fine. How do you do? You know what? I have more rockets again. This whole place just like transform, or is it just that this part wasn't open before? It's probably that this part wasn't open before. Oh, I was not expecting that to actually lower right there. Sure, I'll take armor. Th Some of the monster closet trap doors in this also feel very Doom inspired. Uh, well, we finally got the super nail gun. It only took two hours. That guy is very excited and doesn't know what he's doing. The other one didn't have a problem getting out. But this guy might... Yeah, this guy has a smaller closet. He didn't, okay, maybe he wasn't excited. Maybe he was just angry about getting the smaller closet. Hmm. 
probably been back there already. It feels like there could be more to this room. Like that, for instance. How do you suppose we get back there? It seems like it's entirely closed in. Like, we would need to either get the column to move or get something else to move. So, that's got to be another one of the secrets. Of course, we do already have a rocket launcher anyway, but... Hmm. Unless we end up... Hmm. The top seems barred everywhere, though. I was going to say, if we end up on top... I mean, if I... I could try to rocket jump to it. Yeah, that'll work. There's got to be another way to do it, though. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, okay. So what you're supposed to do... I don't know how you would notice that's a thing. Wait, which side do you even have to do that from? <clears throat> Is it this side? No. How do you even get to that side to hit that switch? Because he can't do it from there. It's on that side. But that would require, like, getting behind that. Can we get behind that? Uh, not from here. I don't think. <laughs> Which post is it? It's that one. See, I can see all the other three sides easily, but how the heck would you... Wait, does this go behind it? This probably goes behind it. Yep. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. You can rocket jump it, though. Hey, Prime. Yeah, this... So, it's really interesting. These maps... Th this is a, a sort of mini-episode um, by the Adrian, I, I believe, was the name of the mapper. Um, it started out with pretty short maps, and honestly, there were some, like, rough spots, but the third map was frickin' huge and had a lot of interesting stuff. And the fourth map is even more frickin' huge. So... <laughs> and that's what we're on now. This is the last map... Uh, so it really feels like you you could see the mapper evolve through the course of playing this, or through the course of making this. Also, Prime. I guess I I wasn't uh, I wasn't mentioning it. I wasn't specifying what game I was thinking of playing at the end of the month earlier in the stream. Although Mopi, Mopi was asking for specifics, and I don't know if Mopi is here now. Um, but at the end of the month, I am thinking of uh, playing Dread Templar. Yeah, I figured you might be interested in that one. <laughs> Given that uh, somebody here did music for it. Wait, so where the heck am I going in here? Why does that feel like I can go inside of it? Probably because I can go inside of it. Yeah, see, that side just stopped short. What the heck? That's weird. I was trying so hard to get back out through that door. I was like, where's the doorway? Don't tell me it closed behind me. No, I just fail at moving backwards. Uh... 
That is not where I came in from. That is what I got. That's why I was like, uh, it's like I was confused as to did I end up going backwards? Also, uh, possibly the third secret right there. Which would mean that we've had at least two of the three secrets in the entire level in this one area? Uh... Shit. Ow! Excuse me, I did not give you permission to make explosions. I will be making the explosions. Kind of getting touched up here. Isn't that from Hexen 2 or something? And we saw a couple kind of of that style earlier in the level, too. We have, yep, we have more overs at the top, too. So now, is this part of the same library, or is this a different library altogether? Uh, yeah, let's take- oh, well, right. This mapper does like to punish you for taking armor. That completely missed. But so did he, so whatever, we're even. But yeah, that mega health is probably the other secret. I don't know how. I don't know how to get to it right now. I should go outside and well, actually, how far outside is outside? Isn't it like through this entire? Yeah, wasn't there quite a bit of <clears throat> hallway that I ran through here? Yeah, there kind of was. It was all the way over there. I don't know. It could be that there's a super involved way through here to get to that. It could be like, uh, Doomy 1M2 and the chainsaw. What the heck? Okay. Oh, how many of those are there? It's not telling me. Oh. Hello, what's this? Guess what? That's it. I don't know whether that silently opened up when I hit the two things. I was worried there were more than two things. The one thing that I will fault this map pack for is sound design. There are a lot of triggers that should make sounds that don't make sounds. Like, even doors opening. There were a lot of silent doors in the third map. Which seems like a really weird thing to slack on. Wait. Okay. I guess there were three of them there. Can I get up there somehow? I mean, I would be sequence breaking if I did this. Yeah, we'll probably get up there later. Like, by going up the stairs like a civilized individual? Yep. There's another one. They lift that. Whoa, I don't know how I didn't trip over that. I was kind of hoping that my whiff before actually hit that guy. Hmm. So there's a big switch over there. What else is over here? Another. Yep. More big doors. Ow! That works. Maybe that's why... Eh, no, those seem about even. I was wondering if, like, the point of that other one being able to be walked into had something to do with the, uh, being able to pick up items on it easily. 
Again, don't know what I was thinking. Are they all in jail? Because, like, I should totally just kill them while they're behind bars. My rockets did not seem to be consistently hitting them. Oh, I see. That looks bad. Oh, okay. Uh, this also looks bad. Is there any cover in this room? You know what? I have the super nail gun now. I need to be using that. I also have the thunderbolt. With basically no ammo anymore, but... Portal noises? There's no more secrets to be had in this map. Did that just open all this? Yeah, it sure did. I'm glad I killed everything else before. <laughs> Okay, so... What did that really do? Oh. Wait. No, I guess I did hit all those before. Okay. Uh... That was what I hit to begin with. This is still not open. Do I really need to just go around now, or...? That did say one more to go. I'm assuming that door opens when both of them are completed, so it's making me go the long way. Seems unfortunate. <laughs> he's trying, and he's not hitting the ogre at all. There you go. Okay, so... Oh, there's more stuff in here. Okay, this is, this is completely different than the other side. Sequence completed. Now this door is open. I feel like I should have heard that from there, if it made a sound. Okay, so those doors actually both open to a new place. They do not connect to each other. Like, I didn't realize... Like, I was actually surprised when I went around to the other side and I got to it sooner than expected, so yeah, that makes sense. Alright, I imagine we're probably gonna get warped to... Yep. Our final... Uh, buggy rune message, and that one actually didn't say anything about completing any sequence, which is interesting, because every other one did. Mm. We, we effectively had the 12 days of Christmas in reverse, where the first one said three more to go, two more to go, one more to go completed, all at once. And then the second one said two more to go, one more to go, completed. Third one said one more to go, completed. And the fourth one apparently just did the, the rune message. Uh, are we actually done, or is there stuff to do here? I think there's stuff to do here. Now, see, I will probably get in trouble for going behind here, because the last time I tried going... That's a cool chain, dude. I'm glad I went behind here, because you wouldn't get to see this chain. You wouldn't bother noticing this. If you didn't get up... You wouldn't appreciate it as much if you didn't get up close and personal. Um, in the first level, I went beh I tried to go behind the exit, but just hit an invisible wall, and then managed to fall into a void that didn't kill me, so I softlocked. So, um, there, there have been, like I said, there have been rough edges, especially in the earlier maps. So I guess those two, these two rooms on the sides here are actually two of the portal, uh, and that one too, I guess, maybe? Uh, those have probably been the things that, that portal you to the, the part in the, in the middle that brings you back. That's the end? Where, what, there's 14 enemies unaccounted for. Okay. Well, I guess I'll stop the timer, then. I'm not gonna go hunting for the 14 enemies. 
I don't know what I missed. I didn't even miss any secrets, but I missed 14 enemies. Um... And I don't think the fish would have accounted for it. First of all, because I have a fish bug fix in my id1 folder. And secondly, I don't think there were that many fish. But they did manage to put fish in this level in a way you might not expect. It was pretty funny. Uh, there were a lot of... There were quite a few cool set pieces, like one in each of the, uh... Maybe not for every single one of them, but for a few of the four sections that you had to complete. Uh, at least two of them had really interesting set pieces in them. Uh, so, yeah, that was a lot more than I was expecting out of this, given how it started. It started much more basic than it ended. So, uh, good job, you know, honing your craft as, as you worked on this. Uh, and yeah, with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the reviews. And yeah, this was made by the A-Drain. Let's bring up the browser again. Um, and I believe this was posted to both, right? Yeah. Um, the A-Drain does have a couple other maps. I'm, I'm assuming this fortress is the same as that one, although I guess I could try to find out. It, well, it may or may not be, because this says Fortress Interior. Well, that shows an interior, though. It's probably the same map. I'm, I'm looking to see if the... It, this one image is not any of these images, though. So, I don't know. Um, at first, I was thinking we might end up done with this map pack earlier than now, and I was thinking maybe I could just, like, go through the other maps. Maybe that's something we do at some point. Um, but... No, Cold Light lasted me, uh... a good chunk of the night, actually. So... Uh, let's take a look at the reviews, and, and then we'll, uh, we'll end it here for tonight. Um, and tomorrow night I am planning to do Marky stuff. I'll, I'll mention that now while, while folks are here, in case anybody has to... Uh, head out. Um, we'll be starting with Reliquary, and there's a couple of other things. And Reliquary is probably going to kick my ass, and I might play it on easy. Um, but let's see what we've got here. Brilliant, destined to be an absolute classic, I reckon. At least the the, the last two maps are certainly like worthy of that potentially. The first two feel like they they probably would would deserve a revamp to really cement the whole pack. Um, there's one known soft lock bug on map 2. Do not go near the lift wall in the final arena room or you will get teleported back behind the locked... Oh, that's what it was. Okay, I, I, I forgot the detail of... It's... you... So yeah, there's a portal that opens up behind that after that arena fight. But I guess the portal trigger is too wide, and you can trigger it before you finish the fight, and then you're stuck. Okay, that's what it was. So I didn't end up triggering that. Uh, but let's see. Yohanam says, I had a great time playing this episode on Skill 2. This updated version makes all the difference in the gameplay of Map 3 because of the lighting. Map 4 was a real visual treat. Great brushwork and consistency throughout, with some very cool and unusual constructions to navigate along the way. That each map can be played as a standalone level is an added bonus. I played it all the way through as an episode, and then each map started from scratch. So, he did do that on skill 2. I feel like the third and or fourth maps might be a little tough to do that way. You would at least need to know about, like, you would need to find the secrets that give you an extra weapon to start with. Let's see what Alex Hunter has to say. True vanilla experience. See, that's what I felt like, especially in the beginning. The, the third and fourth maps... Still, in terms of the architecture, it does feel pretty vanilla, but, like, just the, the scale of the levels feels beyond vanilla. Uh, it's not perfect as, as let's say, uh, Underdark Overbright or Punishment do, but still extremely ex impressive and memorable experience. It starts plainly with a little 15-minute map, reminded a bit of... I'm assuming he meant Dimension of the Past. Oh, no. D Dimension of the Machine, Astrologer's starting map. Okay, yeah. That's one one of the uh, episodes specifically in it, with all those floating stones in the void and platforming. But even the next map starts to show uh, exclusive leaning toward non-linear approach, rarely seen in anything vanilla. Okay, yeah, that's true. Like they do, be, they do start giving you more freedom in the order you do things, especially in the fourth map. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you still have to do the first section first, but then you can tackle the, the other three in any order. Intricate cave system with multiple routes, second map, and third map is the shiny diamond of it all. It's an open big medieval city with no hand holding while goals are always clear and at least I never felt confused where to go. What to do? Well, I can't say the same for myself, but that's mostly because I ignored a door, I think. Uh, it's like the nameless city, but nice, non-ugly, and actually feels like a city. Tons of areas just to explore where you can get some extra armor or some other goodies. Fourth map is gigantic to the point it felt a bit tedious, but still it's very impressive. Yeah, I... I could see that argument, and I could also, like, one of the things I was thinking is that, like, I feel like this is the kind of map that, uh, Mike Taylor would say is underpopulated in a couple of places. Like, there was that one particular hallway that I was like, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Uh, in general, the episode tries to be inventive with encounters. My absolute favorite is with the cages near the rocket launcher. When you appear there, you will understand. Now I'm trying to remember which cage... Oh, wait. So what I'm thinking of is in map 4, and that wasn't the rocket launcher, I don't think. Maybe it was. I don't remember if there was a weapon there. Um... But I think the first rocket launcher was in the third map, and I'm forgetting exactly what the context of that was. Uh, the visuals are kind of vanilla, simplistic and blocky, not even close to as blocky as 97 maps. It's modern blocky, but at times some specific places look extremely outstanding. Final map especially, jaw-dropping moments are all there. Must play, we'll be waiting for the next map or episode from the author. Ninja had a weird viz problem, it looks like. With Quake Spasm. Huh. Oh, he wasn't using Protocol 999. Yep, that would do it, I guess. Uh, this doesn't happen very often. I'm stuck for words. Nice little four map episode, one thinks. Start the first one. Okay, this mapper has developed a bit since his first. Good. The second one. So, the pirate had already played the other two levels uh, by the Adrian, I guess. Um, the second one, the mapper has developed quite a bit. Nice, but still quite 90s mapping. The third, wow, this mapper is certainly growing fast. And the fourth, mind blown. I had to do five attempts to get through this one on the second or third, same problem as Ninja, but yeah, because it's not using Protocol 999. I'm trying to remember, was, Qu um, was Quake Spasm not 999 by default? I think I had to change to 999 on that at some point. I remember playing a map that specifically called it out, and I think I switched it. Uh, on the fourth, I had to disassemble my PC and strap an extra cooling fan? What? I wonder how old this PC is. <laughs> like, this is not nearly the most gargantuan map you'll ever play, although I wonder if maybe it's, like, not as optimized. Like, maybe it's not vised well or something. Uh, this is quite something. Go try for yourselves. Addy, thanks for your work, and thanks for sharing. It's very far between mappers with a personal development curve like the one you have shown. I salute you. Alright, let's take a look at the slips here reviews. Uh, we got a Greenwood review, then we got Alex again, but... Oh, Alex actually... did post the same review this time. I've seen most other cases, Alex has posted unique reviews between Quidditch and Slips here. Uh, but let's take a look at Greenwoods. Except for getting soft-locked out of map 2, I rather enjoyed this. Guessing the author was trying to make an explore further option and a, and a trigger brush sticks out too much. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was describing. Of course, Greenwood describes it better. He definitely loves his knights. I would have only set up the folder a bit better by placing the maps in a mass folder. Right, because I had to actually move them. This is... It's been a long time since I've had to do that with... Like, I feel like most recent packs do that correctly. They're either a pack or they have the map subfolder. And this was one of the few I've seen out of recent times that it was just a flat structure and I had to make the subfolder. Uh, it also recommends making a little start map so one can simply drag the folder into the directory, type game, cold light, and instantly get into the groove. Nice little vanilla episode in general, though, and a great first episode for Adrian. Not first map, but first episode, yeah. I really enjoyed this escalating mini-episode. There's one or two slightly broken triggers in the final map. Yeah, right, those. Um... But that's only a small detraction from the ambition and the design in the map as a whole. That's really interesting, though, if Skill Zero actually has a problem because of certain monsters not existing. That's unfortunate. In general, I quite like these jumping puzzles, which is something from someone who generally has a low tolerance for them, with only one in the final map being really annoying because of the abundance of scrags spawned in as well. I... Th 
I think I know the one he's talking about. And the thing is, you can kind of go back down and deal with this. Like, I just went back down and dealt with the enemies before I climbed. Secrets were also fun. I found about 75% of them, but I wasn't combing the entirety of each map for them. After clearing them, just picking them up as they went. So he says he found and fixed most of the bugs. Oh, he played it on version 1.0. Okay. And actually, that's neat that you can specify the version you played on in the quid in the, not quid but in the slips here review. Uh, Alice in Repose says the small episode starts out as a fairly standard throwback to the classics, but really begins to shine at map three and bursts wide open on map four. You prepared for be prepared to spot a lot of fun geometric details, especially at the end. I wonder if uh, she's referring to the chains as well. I was particularly keen to explore the little city, as well as ride the big moving set pieces. I had quite a lot of fun overall playing the entire episode over the course of about 90 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm apparently just really slow. My only real criticism is that I could have preferred a more seamless sky texture for the first couple of levels. That was part of what made them feel vanilla. Uh, this many episodes begins humbly escalating the monster count and difficulty with each map. It was a good mix of air, uh, ambushes, arenas, and some fun platforming, which is never frustrating. The final map is frankly astonishing and is the highlight of the set. The screenshots don't do it justice. It has some great geometry. I particularly enjoyed climbing the Chaos Tower <laughs> with a mix of large open areas and tight spaces with fights in both. Only issue I had was monsters getting stuck on walls in the lava bottomed area with the grill floors, which they made for easy kills. I enjoyed it immensely. It's clear a lot of work went into this. Yeah, I mean, seeing the, the evolution from map 1 to map 3 and 4 is, is pretty... Ridiculous! Like that's the that's looking at the end of map four right there. That's the chaos tower. It's like, help! I exploded the Puzz 3D. Uh, this is also this was one of the other set pieces from the fourth map. This was from the third map, I believe. Uh, this is probably also the third map. Yeah, that's looking into the beginning of the third map, I think. And that's also third map. So I don't know if this is from... This is probably also from the third map. I think most of the screenshots are from the third and fourth maps, which, I mean, yeah. Th those are the ones to, to write home about uh, by far over the others. But really, pretty cool effort overall. But yeah, the third and fourth maps are uh, much more remarkable than I expected based on what I started out seeing. So uh, really cool to see all that work in there. And yeah, at some point I might have to try... Uh, the Adrian's earlier maps out of curiosity. Maybe I'll put that on the list somewhere. Um, but I'm going to call it there for tonight. So, uh, as I said a little bit earlier, what we have coming up next is Marky stuff. So that's what I'm looking to do tomorrow night. Um, the Containment Center in particular, this is kind of an If I Have Time one. But uh, this is actually a Quake remix of the first map from Viscera Fest, which is a game I have not played, so unfortunately the reference will be completely lost on me. I checked to see if it had a demo, and it, as far as I can tell, it does not. I don't know if it did at any point in the past. Um, so I'm going to be playing that one more blind than I should be in an ideal situation to really appreciate it. But, uh, but yeah, we'll have the, uh, the Marky maps tomorrow night. I don't know if we'll have time for other stuff after that. I can try to queue these up to have them ready. Um, but yeah, Dead Memories uh, and BMFBR maps to prepare for Alkaline 1.2 new maps. Which actually, that reminds me, I did want to check one thing. Let me go into my Quake Spasm folder and see what J-Paul maps I have. I do not have JP... I don't have JPQM10 in here, so I don't think I've played that one. I mean, I'll check my other folders, but I doubt it. Uh... Yeah, no. So I don't think I've played that one. So that one will be new to me when I get to Alkaline 1.2, but I'm trying to play the originals first. Uh, I don't know how different they'll be in the uh in the alkaline versions i mean obviously there'll be different enemies and probably weapons but uh but yeah that'll be interesting so so this list has grown since uh a couple days ago since i saw the alkaline announcement like this stuff i added when i saw that announcement this stuff i added i might have added it at the same time or very close to before that um since marky had come in here once asking if i had played more of his maps so we're going to do that, and uh, we'll do that tomorrow night.